Hey folks, over on the bench, quick down and dirty device. <laughs> We're going to make a quick and quick and dirty device. As you can see on the screen, we're going to make a mouse jiggler using a Raspberry Pi Pico. My buddy Tom having a problem with work where if he gets up and walks away to get a cup of coffee, his office is in, home office is in the basement, just like mine. If he goes up to get a cup of coffee and then comes back down, he's been disconnected. He opened a ticket with his IT department. They said, yeah, we can see it. You're timing out from inactivity. It's a change that management requested that they be notified as employees connect and disconnect how long were they connected how long did they stay idle on and on i think we all see where this is going i understand it from an it perspective i understand it from a management perspective and i also understand that his it department is in a rock between a rock and a hard place they cannot help him with this so we're gonna we're going to cheat. And again, I hate doing this, but we're going to make a quick and dirty cheat for him. He did say that he has Raspberry Pi Picos and they are his sons. So he went and got one. <laughs> so we'll, we'll walk through this. This is really straightforward. I'll put the links to all of this down in the description to this GitHub page. Anyways, all the instructions are there. They're straightforward, easy to follow. So let's just get down to it. Taking the Raspberry Pi Pico, I'm going to press and hold boot select button. I'm going to plug in the micro USB. Okay, we can already see, as you've seen in previous videos, we are in the Pico file system. We're going to come over here. Just from a housekeeping note, I won't go back up because there's personal stuff on my desktop too. But on the desktop, I have created folders for the Pico. Arduino Uno and Raspberry Pi devices. In there, I keep commonly accessible or commonly needed, you know, files, libraries, install uh, media, if you want to look at it that way. It's all there, ready to go. So, anyway, <laughs> to do this, we're going to need Circuit Python. So, the first thing we need to do is come over and I'm going to drag and drop Circuit Python over. We talked about this in a previous video. We're going to let that complete. The Pico will restart and come up in circuit Python mode. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I got the timing down too in my head. All right, so now you can see we're in circuit Python mode. By the way, I found out what that lag is. It happens in MicroPython too. It is the antivirus on my computer. <laughs> Actually going, hey, wait, what the, what, what's going on here? And it scans it real quick, so it gets a little laggy. All right, now that we've installed CircuitPython and we know it's running, we need from the Adafruit CircuitPython HID, or Human Interface Device Libraries, we need their Adafruit HID. We're going to copy that or drag it over to the library folder. We're going to let that complete. Okay. I'm going to open up code Python. In this case, I'm using Thani. You can use whatever you need to do. Yeah, that's all right. Let's just close out. I left Thani running from the earlier attempt that I bombed out because I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> all right, so, whoops. We're going to come back up in our code window. We're going to take and paste the code, whoop, the code that is here on the website. Very straightforward. And we're going to come back over to Thani. Let me show you what's going on here real quick. Again, we're importing time. We're importing that library. From that library, we're going to import mouse functions. Got it? Pretty straightforward. The mouse is the mouse. We're going to shift to, I believe that's going to be pixels, thereabouts. I didn't actually dig into their, what their two is. My assumption is it's pixels. But we're going to, just for the purpose of the video, I'm going to up this to five so that it's viewable. And we're going to, sh we're going to wait a quarter of a second, 0.25 seconds. So while that condition is true, or we're going to run forever until it's quit, we're going to move the mouse. Again, we're going to shift. Remember, the shift is defined up here. We're going to shift five. Ah, shoot. <laughs> yeah, we're going to shift five 
on the X, five on the Y. You're gonna wait a quarter second. You shift five more on X, five more on Y. We're gonna wait. You get the point, right? That's about as easy as it gets. And that's pretty much it. So let's save our code over. We're gonna go ahead and run it. I'm gonna move the mouse over here so you can see what it's doing. I'm gonna move it over there. And the mouse is just steady shifting. It's all it's doing, it's just moving in a circle. Although I find it's interesting that they went counterclockwise, I would actually have to dig into the code. That might just be the default if it says shift. You're gonna shift five, or you're gonna shift counterclockwise by default. You can probably say shift plus, I don't know. I'd have to dig in with the code. But that's really simple, and you can see we're still shifting, right? So I'm gonna unplug the Pico. Our shifting is stopped. I have to give Windows 11 a minute to realize, hey, one of the mouse, mice disappeared, mouses. Um, but yeah, that's it, and I'll plug it back in. And the program is running. I have to give it a minute because I just plugged in a CircuitPython device. But there you go. It's shifting like we expect it to. Screensaver won't kick in. Session timeout won't kick in because something's happening. Fairly straightforward. Again, the instructions are all down here. Really simple. No-brainer. And I hope that fixes your problem, Tom. <laughs> See you guys.